Hey guys. Welcome. Um, as you probably know, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted individual. Remote neural monitoring and control. So, what am I doing today? Glad you asked. I'm trying to make some great big shields. I'm using Ampex 451 two-inch tape. This stuff is uh, approximately uh, $350 a roll at the store. But I just happen to have oh a whole bunch of them because I used to be a recording engineer and I used to run a recording studio. So, anyway, what am I doing? I'm taking this tape and I'm cutting it into lengths using a typical uh, razor thingy. I'm cutting it into lengths. And then, uh, using uh, some Elmer's all purpose spray glue, I'm adhesing it to this board. After that, I'm using some plain old fashioned. Uh, aluminum foil, the big one. Um, as we all know, aluminum foil is the tin foil hat material of the crazies. That's us. Believe it or not, some guys in MIT found that wearing a tin foil hat actually increases reception of microwaves at uh, the critical. Uh, frequencies, although I couldn't quote you what frequencies those are right now. It's an interesting article if you look it up. Tin foil hat. Anyway, uh, as you can see up here, this is my uh, my loft bed, all right? We go up this ladder thingy here, and you can see here I'm using uh, regular window screen, aluminum mesh window screen, and I'm using it to line uh, the entire bed, if you know what I mean. Uh, I haven't done this side yet, the front, because uh, we have the TV over here. As you can see, uh, if you come up here into my little bed domain, uh, I got all the walls lined with this screening stuff here, and on the ceiling, I put these foil plates, these things that I made here. This is the, the finished product. One of these great big things. As you can see, it's got the black stuff. This ferromagnetic uh, with carbon on a plastic base. It's uh, not only magnetic, it receives and absorbs and holds magnetic energy because it was recording tape. It was used to record magnetically. But it also has some carbon, ferrocarbon, uh, which I believe is similar to the stuff they use to reflect microwaves off surfaces. Uh, if you look up the stuff they use in a microwave uh, testing room and uh, a radio anarchaic chamber, a chamber with no echoes, uh, radio echoes, microwaves, they have this foam absorptive black stuff on the wall. And it's usually made out of some kind of carbon, sort of the same stuff that uh, the, the stealth bomber uses to deny the radar profile. Um, although this stuff is flat and the other stuff has lots of millions of micropores that break up the tiny uh, microwave beams and scatter them. Anyway, uh, I don't have a lot of money. As you could probably guess, I'm like two steps away, well actually a half a step away from being homeless. Uh, we went to room here from these really nice people and uh, so as you can probably guess buying materials like tin foil and tape and I got the cardboard from the street and of course the recording tape I had that on hand from my past life before I realized I was a mind control victim of the state of the secret secret government. Anyway I know I sound like a lunatic we all do and believe me, before they did this to me, I, I would have said, hey man, you're crazy. I, I don't believe this crap. 
But after the, the years of LSD-like uh, druggings, and the electrocutions, the poisoning, the gassing, the uh, genetic manipulation being completely covered in horrible insects that seem to only go for us, uh, insects that were invisible to the naked eye, you could only see them when you stuck them to tape. Uh, things that went and crawled into the pores of your skin, under your fingernails and under your eyes and your eyelashes, into every pore. And then these like fibers would grow out, these little hairs, and, and our hair changed color and, uh, and it turned black. And, and, you know, there was even a time where our hair kept growing and growing and we'd cut it and it would grow and grow as we were cutting it. Sounds insane, sounds like the results of some kind of LSD, but no. This stuff is real. There was a two week period where we had things shooting out of the tops of our head and they would go up in the air and get bigger as they went and they would fall down to the ground. Boom. And by the time they hit the ground, they had changed their shape and they had changed their color to match that of the ground around them. So they were actually kind of hard to find. They were these little things about this big. They started out as little dots and they went, out of our heads and they would like shoot out randomly and I would sit there just like this with the video camera catching the video of them shooting out of my head and uh, of course those videos before I could even get them online uh, they knocked me unconscious somehow boom, boom, fall asleep your head hits the desk and they came in my room and they put water in the back of the phone, drip, drip, drip. And they took the little memory card out so my phone was frizzled and I had to get a new phone. So all that evidence was gone. Um, whether we saved the things we collected, you know, we had some. They were really weird. When you put them in the toilet, they would grow larger and anyway. Uh, so here I am trying to build a Faraday cage out of metal screen screen and uh, aluminum foil coated boards with uh, black metal recording tape I don't know I would try real things if I had real money but a uh, crazy targeted person like me doesn't have much money doesn't have much hope either I mean look at what they've done to me man I've aged 20 years in the last three years I'm a shell of my former self. See all this discoloration on my skin? I have no idea what that's from. Radiation bombardment? Insects? Bio-nano interface? I mean, I believe these insects were an infection vector for the nanotechnology, the new implant, the bio-nano implant. What they do is they go into your bloodstream. They're based on some sort of self-replicating carbon nanotubules, right? Uh, carbon nanotubules are, are amazing in that they can be a uh, insulator, they can be a conductor, they can be a semiconductor, and they can be a superconductor all at once. Now, think about this. Carbon nanotubules, they, they grow, they put them in and, and they use material around them to replicate themselves so they continue to grow. They're like little machines that rebuild themselves. And they have found that when you put electricity into the carbon nanotubules, they shoot out electrons at a very high current density, sort of like um, the electron beam gun in the back of your television that shoots out these electrons or possibly even a particle beam weapon that shoots bunched electrons held together with microwaves using a lasers as a, a waveguide. Anyway, it's crazy stuff, this technology. Remote neural monitoring. They uh, basically, they can see what I see. They can hear what I hear. They know what I'm about to say before I even say it and they can put thoughts into my head as well as take thoughts out of my head now how do I know they can take thoughts out of my head well as I was walking around a bunch of times and these gang stalking people were following me you would overhear them talking and like they would be reading the text message off of their phone and the text message would contain 
what I was thinking about in, in that moment, that thought stream, the internal dialogue, that blah, 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 we all say in our heads when we're thinking to ourselves. Those words were being typed into their texts, and they were reading them. So they knew, and they were asking questions about, well, why does he think this, what does, he, what does that mean? Um, you know, and trying to understand me running around on their crazy drugs. What was I thinking? And anyway, the other thing that they can do is completely manipulate your emotional state. Um, if you think of this in terms of like music software or, or Photoshop, right, where you can take a, a layer and put a couple layers on top of each other and then switch between the opacity of the layers. Imagine if these layers were, were simply emotional states that were recorded from the target, say when they were in some great emotional heightened state when they were given drugs and electrocuted and run around, etc., etc. And then these things can be played back and entrained, brainwave entrainment. It's another one you could look up if you don't know it yet. Anyway, I'm going to get back to building my uh, impenetrable uh, mind control shield that I don't think is going to work because this thing works underground in the subway, in elevators and basements and buildings. But think about it, if you were going to build the ultimate mind control device and you wanted to talk into everybody's head at once, you'd have to make sure you didn't miss those people that were in the basement at the time or in the elevator or riding the train because they would get out and say, hey, what happened? I didn't get the message. Um, anyway, more about